Today on MTG Unpacked, it's pre-release weekend for the new Magic set Streets of New Capanna. We're going to get stuck into an entire box of set boosters. Also take a look at the buyer box promo there in a moment. Okay, so we have a box topper. Let's inspect that. So these are actually a little bit of an odd thing. They're all the same in different regions of the world. So they've done a whole different series of these. Depending on where you live, you're going to get different artwork. So we have the Gala Greeters. Creature Elf Druid 1 1 for 2 has Alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. Put a plus one plus one counter on Gala Greeters. Create a tapped treasure token or you gain two life. All right, so we'll set that aside. Also got this helpful tip card here. All the different families here, the different crime families. And Elspeth is in the set apparently. So these boxes have 30 packs of goodness. Hoping to pull a bunch of Planeswalkers today. Fingers crossed. Alright, so the Buyer Box promo. I got one of these for each of the set booster boxes. It is Jaxus the Troublemaker. Legendary Creature Human Warrior 2, 3, for 4. You pay a red tap, discard a card. You get to create a token that's a copy of another target creature control. It gains haste. And when this creature dies, draw a card. Suck it at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a sorcery, and it has Blitz 1 and a red. Very shiny. We'll pop that over there and get to cracking. So what do you think of those box toppers? Uh, I think it's sort of similar to the buyer box, actually. That I think that's what they were going for. We have Henzi to Toolbox Torre. So here he is, upside down. So you get art cards in these set boosters. We'll pop that up there. And a forest, and the first couple of packs we'll just get our bearings here. We've got Expendable, Lackey, Echo Inspector, Security Bypass, Corrupt Court Official, Patch Up. Okay, so you do get Uncommons a bit earlier. Mage's Attendant, Rumor Gatherer, Nimble Larcenist. Okay, so here's the Showcase Border. Another one, Masked Bandit, and Raccoons are now a creature type in Magic People, and Scheming Fence for the Rare Foil Run Out of Town, and a Cat Token. Okay, so this set has a lot of cats, cat people, I think it even has a dog or two, lots of treasures. So we have Paragon of Modernity. So, angels as well, I should say. Angels and demons. So, pop that over there. And we've got a swamp, social climber, antagonize. Plasma jockey, jackhammer, darling of the masses, tavern swindler. Okay, so the uncommons, psychic pickpocket, exotic pets. That's fun. Broker's charm, and the rare is fight rigging. Along with a foil, fake your own death, and each of these set boosters has a foil as well. There's a fish token. Okay, so now we know the lay of the land. We're going to speed things up here. We will be slowing down next week when we go through each card as we usually do. But we want to get through this box quickly. Not sure what that is. I should have read it first. We got Fleetwood Dancer. And we do get a foil mountain here, pop that in the foil pile, skipping ahead and no they do not have extra rares near the beginning and the rare here is mysterious limousine, okay vehicles are back, foil night clubber and Bjorna nightfall alchemist, so what is this, this is SLX, that must be some other special type of card. I'll make a separate pile for those. Okay, I'll have to do some reading about that. Not familiar with what that means. 
Okay, next up we have Luxior Giada's Gift. This is actually a good pull if you can get it. It's an equipment. I think it turns a planeswalker into a creature. So you can imagine the shenanigans. We've got an island. And skipping ahead, let's uh, rearrange how I do my piles here. That is much easier. And Avon Heartstabber, Bird Assassin. Okay. And Soul of Emancipation. Nice. And Thalia's Lieutenant from the list. Okay, so separate pile for list pools, I think. So did you participate or are you participating in pre-release? And what is the family you're going to play? Leave a note in the comments. We've got a Skyway Robber. I think it goes around that way. If not, that's too bad. And I really like what they've done here with the lands. So we've got a nice full art land. And skipping over this gear. And the rare is Tenacious Underdog. He's in the boxing ring. Ledger Shredder Foil Brokers Initiate Cat Citizen. And the Obscura with treasure on the other side. So we will be getting stuck into more of the pre-release packs. So we did the River Tears and we'll go through the rest this weekend. We've got Meeting of the Five. Wants to stick there. And I think this was one we got out of the pre-release. So that's awesome. A Mythic. And we will go to the Rares. Here we go. We've got Incandescent Aria, along with a Foil Caldaya Strong Arm. Let's see, pop that there and there. And a Wizard Token, okay. So, what are people thinking of this set so far? I know it's early days, but we've seen all these spoilers. So, very different flavor here. Speakeasy Server. And it's a bird with halo in some glasses, made from the bodies of ground up angels, apparently. And a very nice foil planes, good deal. And we'll go to here. Oh, okay. And this is the rest of the triome cycle they did in Ikoria. So we've got Jetmere's Garden. Mountain Forest Plains. I'm sure those will be worth a bit. And Evelyn the Covetous. This is just... Uh, is this a regular... Yeah, this is a regular foil, I believe. And what is the list with a Devil Token? Yeah, we did see one of those gilded foils in one of the pre-release packs already. Hoping to pull some of those. I think you're lucky to get one or two of those out of a box. We've got a Plasma Jockey. And let's see here, that's not a foil. And the rare is Rabble Rousing. So an enchantment. Foil Metropolis Angel. And Othelm Sigardian Outcast. Another one of the SLX. We'll pop that down there. So maybe, is that like another separate list or something? We've got Giada Font of Hope. So some awesome artwork there. And, oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Mountain. Nice. The uh, basic lands, they keep outdoing themselves. Although I will say I really enjoy the ones from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Here we have another triome. It's Zeotora's Proving Ground, Swamp Mountain Forest, and a Foil Races Ring, and Citizen Token. I wonder how many of those so called uh, triomes we'll get in one set booster box. Wouldn't it be cool if we pulled one of each? There should be five, I think. Elspeth Resplendent. That would be a fantastic Planeswalker to add to the collection. Fingers crossed. I like this rogues gallery. It's like the usual suspects lined up there. And a mythic. We have All Seeing Arbiter. 
Okay, so separate pile for Mythics. The first Mythic has been pulled. Foil, Midnight, Assassin, and Magic Minigame. They've got new ones. Demon's Jew. So we'll pop that down there. Okay, so we're a third of the way through. So off to a bit of a slow start, but we do have a Mythic at least. And Hello the Painter. He looks like a bit of a rogue. And a very nice, what is this, a swamp. Excellent artwork. So what is your favourite of the basic lands in this set? Oh, what? Another mythic. We've got Titan of Industry. So two mythics so far. Foil case the joint. And yes, Elspeth, Undaunted Hero Mythic from the list. Theros Beyond Death. Okay, so we have three Mythics now. Holy cow, and we're not even halfway through. Where is the pull tab? There it is. Took me a moment. Okay, so three Mythics. Doing pretty good. Races Ring. Let's check that out. So they even have racing. I guess if you've got vehicles, you're going to have racing. Makes sense. Fueled by Halo, no doubt. And Cabaretti Ascendancy is the rare, along with a foil Riveters decoy and a Obscura ad there. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that Elspeth. But we need more. We've got Spara's Headquarters. That looks like a very cool place to visit. And one of these awesome islands, but a foil version. Holy cow, okay. And moving ahead here to Evolving Door. So what is this? Sacrifice creature, that many cards plus one X of that card and shuffle. That seems pretty good actually. A foil civic gardener and another mythic Arvanox the Mind Flail. Nice. Another one of these SLX slots. That is craziness. So is that uh, like something they're juicing up the list or something? But they have a special list. I'll have to find out about that. We've got a rumor gatherer. Also known as a Gossip Munger. Pop that down there. And skipping ahead. I'd like to uh, look through that stuff, but we don't have the luxury of time today. We've got Raffine's Tower, Plains, Island Swamp. And that is a, another Triome. So I think that's the third one. We've got a Foil Waterfront District. And Strictly Better Magic Minigame. So we've seen that one a bunch of times already. They uh, come up with new ones in each set, but they do reprint a bunch. We've got Panis, the Subtle Brush. Let's see what that is. Oh, I remember that one from the uh, pre-release box. Okay. And we've got a very cool forest. And onward to Errant Street Artist. Is the rare. Oh, and a foil Jetmere's Garden. Good deal. So what is that? Four triomes and a spirit. I'm sorry if you're offended by me calling them triomes. That's what they are. That's uh, what I believe. So we've got a Falco Spara Pact Weaver. It wants to stick there. And it's a signed art card. Very cool looking bird dude there. And Exotic Pets, that's fun. What have we got? Maestro Ascendancy. So a mysterious gang of maestros. Raffine, Silence of Foil. And there's the maestros again. I wonder if that's on purpose. If they try to line up those ad cards with uh, what you pull in the pack. Jetmere's Garden, so here is another one of the Triomes and a signed art card. Nice. 
You might notice I'm not popping up prices for any of this because the prices on pre-release weekend are all over the place. Not really reliable at this point. Things will settle down over the next week or two. We've got Evelyn the Covetous. And Obscura Charm. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. So this is a gilded foil. You can see it goes around the edges. And a little bit on the main part of the card there. Reminds me of the cold foils from Flesh and Blood. Excellent. We'll have a separate pile for that. Okay. I was pleased to see one of those. Wasn't sure if we're going to pull one or not. Can we pull another? Uh, backup agent. So there is the art card. And another full art land we haven't seen yet. Mountain. Very intricate looking artwork. And then for our rare we have Vazzy Keen Negotiator. Is that a... yeah, that's a command card. Followed by Extraction Specialist Foil Ominous Parcel. And Demon's Drew Magic Minigame. Alright, we're nearly two-thirds of the way through. Pace is picking up nicely. Falco Sparrow, Pact Weaver. Did we see that earlier? I wish those wouldn't stick so much. Okay, maybe there's a different version. I don't remember that one. And can we pull another Mythic? What's this? Undercover Operative. Okay, I think there's maybe a couple of different artworks for that one. Foil, Dig Up the Body. That reminds me of uh, the Innistrad sets. And the Brokers, Read the Fine Print. They must be a mob of lawyers or something. And we have not seen Obnixilus yet, or as people call him, Mobnixilus in this set. We've got an Angelic Sleuth. So that is awesome. And let's see, Mr. Orfeo, skip past you, sir. Endless Detour is the rare. There's that limousine. Foil Hypnotic Grifter. And from the list, we have Cecily Haunted Mage. Uh, actually, not from the list. It says SLX again. Okay. Mysterious. So we've got four of those. So I'm guessing what so we should get maybe two more if the pattern holds. Broker's Veteran. So take a look at that one. And let's see. Here we go. We've got Unleash the Inferno. Is the rare. Oh, nice mythic. Elspeth Resplendent. This was the card I wanted to pull. Awesomeness. So what is that? Four mythics now. And punch out cards. Yes. Can't wait to see if we can get any more Planeswalkers. You'll notice Vivian on the playmat there is also in the set. Obnixilus, the adversary. So we've got to look for this dude in his pinstripe suit. Don't know why he's wearing a uh, red robe though. And a forest. Very shiny. What else? Oh, another mythic! Jetmere, Nexus of Rebels, Cat Demon, and some people might say that's a little bit redundant there. And a Foil Arc Spitter, and another mythic! Left and right, we're throwing out the mythics. We've got Obnixilus the Fallen. This is from Iconic Masters. So, one, two, three, four, five, six mythics. Not too shabby. So a normal draft booster box, you'd be getting about five mythics. So we're ahead of the game already. Rafik of the Many is the art card. Along with a very cool planes. Loving the lands in this set. Not just the triomes, even those basics. And what? Another mythic! Holy cow, Sanctuary Warden. 
And that is a little bit off center by the look of it. Is there anything on the other side? Nope. Okay, one, two, three, four, seven Mythics Cemetery Tampering, another rare foil expendable lackey and strictly better mini game. Okay, on the home stretch now. Kit Canto Mayhem Diva. So, like I said, there's some weird cat people here. And I hope it's not like the musical that, ugh, most boring couple of hours of my life. Okay, next we have River Tears Ascendancy. This is fun, sort of like uh, that famous photo, the guys sitting in uh, the skyscraper, their feet dangling over the edge. We've got a foil quick draw dagger and a fish. Gonna have to build a deck that spits out those fish. This creature can't be blocked. Well, it's got a little bubble around it. Weird. Wing Shield Agent is the art card. Okay, and... Zipping over the stuff. We've got Gala Greeters. Okay, so this one's different artwork from the box topper. Foil Obscura Ascendancy and nothing from the list. We've got a Rogue Token. Can we pull a few more Mythics? We would like to see more. The Beamtown Bullies. What's this about? <laughs> okay. Yeah, those are uh, some beefy dudes, I would say. And a very cool Swamp. Is that a Foil, yes, looks like a foil. Very dark card though. Pop that down there. And <laughs> here we go. Here they are again. The Beam Town Bullies. Ogre Devil Warrior. So this is a commander card. So we're on eight mythics. Structural assault, foil pirate, sledge arsonist, and a citizen token. So we have four more packs. What are the odds we will pull an Ob Nixilis in the close? Or maybe that Phyrexian was, uh, I think it's Urobrask is in here. Giada Font of Hope. Alright, with some weird 1920s style clothing. And we've got an island, that is awesome. And let's see here. Void Rend is the rare. The spell can't be countered, destroy target, and on land permanent. Okay. Foil, Sparrows, Adjudicators, Cat Citizens, and Wasatora Nakuru Queen from the list. And this is originally from Commander 2017. That was the uh, deck with the cool dragons. We'll pop that down there. So have we not... Maybe I'm not paying attention. Doesn't seem like we've got a lot of list pulls. We've got those SLX ones. Maybe those are list pulls. We've got a Flawless Forgery. Okay, so like a painting. Yep. And... Okay, there we go. Unleash the Inferno is the rare. What else? We've got Rego Streetwise Mentor. Here we are with the Cat Citizens again. Foil Brazen Upstart and the Brokers. Are you going to build a Cat Citizen deck? Somebody out there must be. Um, or something with the fish or maybe you have other ideas. Leave a note in the comments. I think Angel's get some good support in this set. We've got Jetmere, Nexus of Revels. Very regal feline. Very puffed up there, I will say. And here we go. Cut of the Prophets is the rare and fight rigging foil and punch out cards. One more pack to crack. Let's go. Let's have a strong close here. So I think what did we get to like eight mythics? I think it was. We got Murray the Killing Quill. Take a look at that one. Very cool. And a, yes, that is a foil planes. 
final pack magic. Let's see the spice. That's not really what we were looking for. We have Void Rend. This is the rare workshop war chief rhino warrior foil strangle and magic minigame. Okay, so we got the uh, one gilded foil. What was it like? Eight mythics and some of these mysterious SLX cards near the end. Let me know in the comments what you think of this set. And stay tuned, we'll be cracking open the rest of the pre-release boxes this weekend. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.